hey guys welcome back to my channel so i wanted to show you guys how i budget and how i go from paycheck to paycheck so for the month of may i got paid on the third on the 17th and on the 31st so these um i have already uploaded so if you guys want to check those out go ahead and um check those out in my playlist so i'm going to show you guys from the 31st up until june 13th i haven't set up my june um budget yet or my monthly so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how it'd be from this paycheck so it would go from the 31st the first second third all the way up until the 13th that's what i need to include in this next budget so i have already pre-planned for the next one two three and four paychecks let me show you guys how i do that so on the 31st we have <clears throat> uh paypal we have to pay that one off um i have actually paid this one with my previous check which was on the 17th so that one's not included here as you can see so that one's actually checked off as you can see that one's paid off um so i have the paypal one due on when i get paid on the 31st then i have uh, my cell phone which was checked off well I'll, I'll have to check it off on the June one but that one was actually paid with my previous check as well um, and then I have my Mazda which is there's PayPal uh, my Mazda due on the 4th um, Apple storage is on the 12th and 13th is both Disney and Mitsubishi so that's six hundred and seventy dollars and six cents do you guys have you guys ever noticed that when i do my paychecks i already i i've mentioned that i already have kind of a uh, estimate of what's going to happen that way when i do my budgets i don't have to be scrambling around and figuring out what's going where and this is my pre-plan this is exactly what it is so i have my variables um, which is gas and uh, miscellaneous. I have my cash envelopes. I have what I'm going to be saving. So let me go ahead and mention here. Um, I printed this out. Uh, it's a girl on here on uh, YouTube. She's on Instagram as well. Um, she is Oh My Goals. Um, she has this on her blog. Um, I'm, I don't remember her blog. I'm going to go ahead and leave it down below. But it's a countdown uh, to Christmas and it's a savings plan. So in June, you save 75, July 100, and again and again and again. And that should equal out to $500. Now, last Christmas, I did not need that much, but I do have to replenish my emergency fund. So this is going to contribute to both savings for Christmas. Um, I know I have to maybe repair my break sooner than I thought um, if I need tires for Christmas um, any anything else because I do not have any sinking funds so this is kind of what I'm using this for and so let me go back to me um, so there's my savings there was for June that's part of June and then um, extras I have a couple of birthdays oh and debt and that's going to be for debt. That's going to go to either Disney or for Freedom. Um, I'm really close to playing off my Freedom card. So that's what I'm thinking as at this point. Um, forgot to turn on my light so it can be a little brighter. Here we go. Okay, so for the next uh, time that I get paid would be from the 14th. We ended on the 13th. Next one would be on the 14th through the 27th. Again, we're going to get paid the same. Here we're going to pay our cell phone bill for July since we had already paid self the cell phone bill for June. Um, that is going to be on the 14th uh, for June. Um, it's usually due on the 1st, but for some reason it won't allow me to pay it on the day of. Like My brother and I both make payments and as soon as he makes a payment, it won't let me make a payment all the way until the 9th again. So that's why i'm paying that on the 24th on the 14th i'm sorry um my freedom card that's due on the 19th so i said from the 14th all the way through the 27th um so on the 19th we have my freedom on the 23rd we have hulu um the 25th both disney and mitsubishi and also i shouldn't be paying my car insurance or my life insurance with this one because it doesn't on the 27th so on the 28th i'd be getting paid again however if i were to leave that for the next paycheck that's going to be a lot more than 648 dollars and this one would be 
less than a lot less or you know a hundred and twenty dollars less than six hundred and nine this is exactly why i do um paychecks ahead of time so i know because usually i know that my my bills should be around six hundred and seven seven hundred dollars so that's where that falls in um and then again we have a variable our cash uh savings we're not going to be saving since we paid when since we saved the 75 for june already my debt um i have not included that one yet just because i have two birthdays and um i don't know how much i'm going to be doing for that but that's how i do that for that paycheck so from the 28th through the 11th again we're going to do it all again so the 30th since there's no 31st it would be my freedom card we would go back uh we're not going to be having a paypal one anymore we'd have my mazda we would again we would have our apple storage disney uh we are not paying the mitsubishi on this one okay so again this is going to end on the 11th and i'm adding the the my disney card and i was going to add the mitsubishi i count i um I made the, I added all of it up and it was going to be over $700. So I canceled that one out and instead I added the freedom one. So that makes it $648. My next one, I did include it because that's where it should be, this Mitsubishi one. So now that one's going to be $559. So I hope that makes sense. Um, that's how that's how I do my paycheck to paycheck and I make sure that all of these bills I don't have a ton on one and a ton on the other so as you can see as well I have Disney twice I have my dad's car twice I have a freedom twice those three are my debts that um I'm gonna be paying off um the reason why I do them twice was because I don't want four hundred dollars of Disney on one paycheck. I don't want $300 of Mitsubishi on one paycheck. And I don't want $160 for freedom on one paycheck. So do you guys see how that makes a difference of $149 instead of $300 on this paycheck? I love, love this method and it works, you guys. Um, the, how I did it for, uh, uh, how I did it on the 13th and the 25th, how I chose those. I have a video also on how I did that. It's supposed to be improve your credit. So if you pay half of the payment um, 15 days prior to its due date, and then the remaining half um, three days prior to the due date, it's supposed to improve your credit. However, I've been putting a lot more towards debt. So I don't, I'm not 100% sure if that's how it is. My credit hasn't proved a lot tremendously so um i'm not sure if that's why but the when i started doing this i noticed that it wasn't just good for my credit if it did improve because of that but it improved my budget because it saves me a ton of room for me to be able to um you know um manipulate everything else along with the variables and the cash envelopes and if i'm going to save my debt and anything extra that's going on within that paycheck so I, like I said, I hope this wasn't confusing. I wanted to show you guys this method of how it works for me. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I'm, I'll be glad to answer. I answer everybody's comments. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.